You ready to get your hands in some cold, cold mud? <laughs> Is that why it feels like I'm picking up like snowballs with my bare hands? Yeah, that's probably why it feels like that. Okay, let's get into diarrhea level thickness. What do you think, blue and the blue hearts? Is that manly enough? <laughs> it bites your face. Much like crew. I gotta do it all with gale force winds. Almost looks like it was done on purpose. What's up, green studders? I'm back out here by our underground bedroom. It's kind of windy, so I don't know how much I'll be able to get filmed. I apologize if it creates any uh, distractions. <laughs> so if you caught our last video, you know we got the subfloor over our joists. I'm gonna cut it now because we've definitely got some overhang in a bunch of these areas. So I wanna cut it out to where the joists are. Then we need to get some cob around here and seal things up. I gotta do it all with gale force winds. I actually think the way I cut the OSB this time versus the root cellar actually turned out a lot better. The cuts are almost symmetrical and it has a kind, of, kind of this cool star shape to it. Almost looks like it was done on purpose. So I'm cutting my chicken wire here. This is a three foot roll. So I'm cutting it in half, one and a half feet and I'm running 11 foot lengths. I figure with the circumference, four lengths of 11 feet should be pretty close to what I need. Then I'm gonna start wrapping it around. Are you bored? Are you bored? You want to take a walk? Want to walk? Let's go. All right, y'all, I got out here early, got everything set up. Of course, we're done with the chicken wire. Chicken wire is looking good. Got the dirt ready, straws ready to go. I even brought out the mixer. I'm hoping that just speeds along the mixing process for doing this cob. Hopefully we can knock this out quick. So Jessica just came out here. She's waiting on me, she's freezing. She's waiting on me, she's like, Jim, where's this cob? I'm ready to get to work. Kind of got a little bit of an issue so we got the gorilla cart that's all full of dirt we got the wheelbarrow that's full of straw i guess what we're gonna have to do is we'll mix it in here and then dump it into uh one of those little mixing bins that we have and then drag it over so i think it's the best option we got jess you look cold what is it like 45 degrees out here right now come on but it's it's kind of windy a little bit windy too. It's a little bit windy and uh, when those clouds go overhead, it's like whew. Bites your face. <laughs> it bites your face. Much like crew. <laughs> crew will bite your face too. <laughs> I'm just gonna dump this whole gallon of water in here. And then we'll just start mixing it up. We'll start getting, tossing some dirt in there. Toss in some straw. We'll mix it up and see what happens. So I'm just gonna keep shoveling some dirt in here until it starts to thicken up. Okay, it's getting to diarrhea level thickness. Let me give you a peek, see what this looks like. Now, if you don't wanna ruin your 
your new glam gloves. I got your old glam gloves right here. Well, I forgot to get more gloves at the store, but no worries. We have plenty of glam gloves. I don't know why we have so many gl glam gloves, but uh, what do you think? Blue and the blue hearts? Is that manly enough? For me, what we did out here with this cob is really a testament to what we have been doing this entire time. Just doing the cob by myself, I think it took at least four days. And the two of us together, I mean, we took a, a difficult task and we got it done in a couple of days. But I really feel like that is emblematic of how we've done this whole thing. You know, just two people Working together, it's just two people with similar goals, similar ambitions, getting together, doing what needs to be done, and even the impossible can be possible. I think that's the important part, like having, having the same vision that drives us forward. And then I think we work well together. You know, I remember before we started any of this, you're like, you know what, this might be really difficult it might put a strain on our relationship even you know we're gonna have times where we're really tired or you know there's these obstacles that we got to face that are challenging or you know sometimes it's the weather it's difficult just being out here in the elements but you know we got to remember what's really important and be able to work together through that. And I think we've done really well. Yeah, we have. Again. You're stubborn, dude. <laughs> just take a walk, not a ride. Come on. Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Come on, let's go. Let's go. See, sometimes it does get cold out here in the desert. <laughs> over there and then we told them about the cows we told them about the cows yeah we pointed them out and like crew look at the cows and then he kind of gets up and he kind of slowly looks around the corner <laughs> and then for a split second he looks at those cows like in disbelief And then he does out of that there's cows in front of him, and then he goes, tries to chase his after him. Mm -hmm. Did you even see those? Those ones are there. They're long gone now. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. 
good walk? You have a good walk, buddy. <laughs> well, we worked long and hard yesterday. We were out here all day. Uh, cabin just takes a while. Again, this part, much like all the rest of the parts, have just seemed to be going so much quicker than they have before. I think the mixer helps, and uh, definitely having a couple people out here helps. So we're about halfway done. I don't think the rest of this will take too long. It's a little bit chilly today though. The high is supposed to be 51, so it's gonna be tough uh, getting your hands in the cold, wet mud <laughs> and applying it around. But uh, I think we can get it done today. Let's do it, yeah! Now I'm out here right away. I'm gonna start getting the mix going. It must have got pretty cold last night because uh, a lot of ice in this here. I better pull the rest of my jugs out in the sun so they can uh, warm up a little bit. It is a cold one today, isn't it? Cold. Yeah, it's not very fun doing cob in like 40 degree temperatures. <laughs> but yet she's out here anyway, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to point that out. It's cold. She's bundled up. You ready to get your hands in some cold, cold mud? <laughs> <laughs> but she's out here anyway doing it. She's a trooper. All right, let's get this done today. Yeah! <laughs> Cob is cold, huh? It's cold. <laughs> I don't like it. They know, but you probably don't. This was pretty much made with ice water. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> is that why it feels like I'm picking up like snowballs with my bare hands? Yeah, that's probably why it feels like that. Have fun with that. <laughs> I literally made this stuff with ice water. Ice. <laughs> So with this cob process, kind of like the earth bags, we've been kind of splitting it up. I've been doing the digging to get the dirt, getting the supplies, doing the mixing, and Jessica's been doing the applying. And so far, that's been working out real well. It's just a, a really a testament to what two people can do. Can you imagine if you had more people with similar goals and similar ambitions, working together to achieve something. Could you imagine what's possible? Throughout history, in these smaller communities and tribes, that's how they built things. The community came together as kind of like an extended family, and they all worked together and, and helped create things. I mean, a community coming together, building houses for each other, you could probably knock out houses like this super quick, and a community could really build up uh, real fast. Order up. You did order more mix, didn't you? Uh-oh, almost running in that corner. Are you thrilled that uh, once you're almost done with uh, one bin, I come bringing you another? <laughs> Never stops. <laughs> Uh, Jess over here is just doing an amazing job getting uh, getting all that cob around the base here. Uh, fantastic work. Fantastic mixing. Then we're going down to the last side. Woo, there she is. <laughs> Wait to start off. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cold out here. But we're almost done. Jessica. Jess is pretty confident that the mix I gave her, that'll be enough to finish this off. Now, I just want to bring a particular attention to her skill over here as she's building up this wall. Very thin armature over there. And this mix is pretty wet. And uh, man, she is doing a fantastic job. of building that up. So uh, 
uh, tell them, uh, what's your technique here? Just slap it on and smear it around. <laughs> you heard it here first. That's pro advice right there. Slap it on and smear it around. <laughs> oh man, so uh, one, yes, uh, it is cold out here, but uh, here we are, um, we're at the, uh, for you guys, <laughs> you'll be seeing this right at the beginning of the new year, but we've just completed our third earth bag structure within a year. Yeah. How's that feel? Awesome. You know, you start off and you have these big dreams and then you're about to start and the task seems really daunting, but then once you're in the midst of completing it, it just doesn't even seem real. But here we are now with the completion of this cob, everything is sealed up, so we don't have to worry about, you know, little animals getting in there or anything like that, and now we can continue on with the build. And I know a lot of people have been asking, well, how are you gonna get in here? You don't have an access hatch, and that's done on purpose. So we're building a dome now that will go over this, and I don't want a big hole in um, the middle over here. <laughs> it makes it that much more dangerous, <laughs> plus we have to worry about, you know, things covered adequately this way it's like completely sealed and it'll be able to brave the elements while we're building the dome on top of here but yeah. that is what is happening next oh I'm really excited about this part I mean we have experience doing earth bags now but we've never done a dome yet so it's a little scary but it's exciting too man I can't wait to a new year a new earth bag project so many new possibilities. Definitely stick around. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe because you gotta see this dome going up. <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll catch you on the next video.